good morning. It's Tracy Daviero here with you from your VA mentor for our weekly live. I hope you guys are having a good week. It is soaking wet out here today. It rained um, quite a bit last night, which is nice. Obviously, you know, we need it, but um, it's uh, it's really, really damp, but it's still very nice out. It's, uh, it's certainly cooled down, which is very nice. So, so today we are talking about strategic partners and I'm not sure what's happening here on the uh, I don't know if it delayed me starting. Anyway, hello, how's it going? Um, I'm still now, anyway, oh, this live thing is crazy. Facebook is crazy. Um, so anyway, we're talking about strategic partners. I'm just going to grab my notes here. So when you're first starting your business, you probably don't know too, too much about strategic partners. And so this is really just a basic. What is a strategic partner? It's somebody who um, is uh, able to refer business to you and you can refer business to them. And so it's not, there doesn't have to be any kind of a formal arrangement, although there could be. And basically it just helps you um, reach more people and be able to um, get clients from that, right? And it's <laughs> like any kind of networking or any kind of, of partnering, I guess, is um, it's uh, a two-way street, right? So you want to be able to meet people and they, you know, they would be other business people who are in your, um, they, they share a similar audience or the same audience. Sometimes it's difficult to share exactly the same audience, but when you start to talk to people about your business and about what you do and how you help your clients, really there can be, you know, you can have endless number of strategic partners, people who actually understand what it is you do so that whenever they are in their networking situations or if they are talking to people about their business in any way, shape or form, your name will come to mind. If they say, you know, back in the day, whenever I offered virtual event services, um, I know that in the circles that I traveled in, I certainly wasn't connecting with every single person that some of my clients and colleagues and that kind of thing were um, were connecting with. And so it expands your circle so much to be able to have other people say, oh, virtual events, you know, you should talk to Tracy and they could, you know, send you a referral or whatever it is. And so so you could do a commission based style with a strategic partner. There's lots of um, uh, there's lots of opportunity there for sure, um, but in general, a strategic partner doesn't really need to, to have a commission. It doesn't really need to be a formal agreement like that where, you know, I'll refer business to you for, for a fee or, you know, same thing with you, you'll, you'll refer business to other people for a fee. It's nice and you can set up a, a formal arrangement like that, but, cer but when I talk about strategic partners, I'm really just talking about, you know, the people who really do understand what it is you do. I know for me, um, there are a lot of people who uh, have an idea of what I do, but then there are other people who are out there and they're doing a lot of networking, they're doing a lot of connecting with other people, and I want them to know specifically what I do so that whenever they are out there that, you know, they can actually talk to, um, you know, they can actually, my, my name will pop up, my name will come to mind. <clears throat> and so it's a really good thing to pursue in your business. It's a really good thing to, um, in your business setup as you're starting to, to kind of get going, you really want to get clarity on what it is that you do and who it is that you help, because that's the most important information for somebody to be able to um, share at, you know, at any point in time. I had a, uh, I, well, he wasn't my coach. I didn't work with him, but he was, a, a I guess he would be a colleague. Anyway, there's a speaking coach that I know really well and, and are fairly well. And, and he always says it's not enough. Uh, his name is Steve Lowell. So uh, they are the Lowell group, he and his wife, uh, Steve and Jane. And so um, what he always says, and it stuck with me and I repeat it, I quote him all the time, I tell him. And um, basically what he says is it's not enough for someone to understand what it is you do. They must be able to repeat it to somebody else. And I love that whole, just the whole thought around it. It's, you know, you, you're, you need to be, it's not about, okay, Trace is a VA. That's a really, really, um, it's a really general or broad term. It's a very broad term. So what you want to be able to do is you want to say, oh yes, Tracy helps, um, you know, uh, financial planners with their customer service or whatever it is, but Tracy helps um, business coaches with their marketing. Even as general as that, you want to be able to, they might not know um, all of the ins and outs of the, you know, the platforms I use or the, the uh, skills I have or anything like that. But if they can repeat what it is that you do, 
and uh, who you do it for, that will, it, it's, it's not like people are going to be out talking about you, but as it comes up in conversation, then it makes it easier for them to say, oh, that's the help you're looking for. This is, you know, who you should call. So strategic partners are really important. Um, like I say, it's not, uh, it's probably not something that you've thought of in the setup of your business, but what you really want to do is as you're going through that messaging piece, you want to be able to get the clarity around it. So when you have the clarity about who it is, uh, who it is you serve and what you help them with, then you can repeat that to other people, right? And then in turn, they can repeat it to others as well. So it's really important to look at. It's really important to think about. And one place then you can do this is on my five day um, get clients uh, live challenge next week. Oh my goodness, why was that so difficult? So um, I'm hosting, as you know, you've seen a couple of posts in the group, um, my five day challenge for virtual assistants and it's about getting clients. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on what services you offer, get clarity around your messaging and be able to reach out to people, um, potential clients about uh, how, how you can help them or how you can potentially help them. So that's what the whole challenge is about. It's all about being able to create messaging that is clear and simple and describes what you do and, and describes how you help people. And so that's what we're going to be doing. It's very, very important as a strategic partner to be able to have this information for you. But it's also important for everybody else and anybody else associated with your business and especially you. So um, it is yourvamentor.com slash get clients. There are links below, um, obviously, in a couple of posts, and you can register. You totally should join us. It's very, very easy challenge. It's, um, well, the work is easy. The work is simple. Ah, simple is better, right? The, the, the work is simple. And uh, so you get a training lesson every morning, a short training lesson, and then you'll be able to do some homework. You'll be assigned some homework to do for the day. So Monday, training lesson, Monday, homework. And then you post it in our Facebook group and get my feedback on it. I'll tell you all the things that, uh, that you do right, and I'll help you correct a few things if they're wrong. And we'll be able to move through in steps. And then on Friday, we'll talk um, live, answer the rest of your questions, and uh, put it all together. So it is yourvmentor.com slash get clients, and I do hope that you'll join me. Talk to you later.